Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, I'm really tired, so if you see dark rings around my eyes and I start to slur my speech, that's probably why. Uh, Robbie has been gone all week to, I can't remember where we're Beast of Blades. Yes, and it's brought awesome. back some of these and painted them, and now we're going to use them in about a report next week. It doesn't uh, really uh, I still like to look at match it. our board. Yeah, these are awesome. So, you know, Micro Art Studio, good job. They're pretty cool. Anyway, this is our table. Um, the thought behind this table was um, old school, oh, what was that game called? Command Conquer, Red Alert. right? Yeah. yeah, Red Alert. Like this is the, these are the Tiberium films, fields over here. There's all these huge spires of minerals and things that need to be collected by um, the Yujing, uh, whatever, mining conglomerate something. So they've got these big machines, there's all these things, that, this little thing in my mind, like it goes through, crunches down all this stuff, and then it kind of spits these out behind it as it goes, like, you know, bales of hay or something. Uh, there's vehicles, there's kind of these little towns, and then a whole bunch of these things um, to uh, support the population as they, of the miners as they go through this area. So, that's the idea behind this. The scenario that we're playing is one we just invented. There are three... Uh, different objectives. There's the mining vehicle, there's the uh -oh, communications relay, and there's a hydroelectric power plant. Yes, a power plant. So it pulls water up out of the well. And uh, these are the targets that the, what army are you playing? Pan-Oceanian army is trying to destroy, and the Yujing forces are trying to secure it. So, uh, Yujing sees this little landing Thing, fly over, it lands in the distance, and they're like, oh no, go get them. So the Yujing start running from their bases. Uh, Yujing is gonna deploy within five inches of this hole, like that side and this side, and have the first turn so they can move into their deployment, or into defensive positions. Then Pan Oceani is gonna come on and take their turn, and then we're going to also start a little we're box over here. For four turns, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Hang on, there was something else. Oh, the uh, demolition stuff, how you destroy these. Uh, these uh, vehicle and the uh, power station have to be manually destroyed. The communications relay can be hacked to be destroyed. Um, the panel player can also plant explosive charges on here, and the explosive charges can be ripped off and thrown by the Yujing, or they can also be hacked if my hacker stays alive. Uh, after the explosives, so they're planted, Eugene gets one turn to take them off, it's like the 30 second timer. After that timer goes off, then whoosh, this happens, and this is gonna push terrain out, knock things over, and hopefully do some damage. Okay, turn one, Eugene. Here we go. He's oh, first stuff. let's, huh? yeah, just show where you set up. Oh, so I set up these guys here. Uh, I don't remember what which one those are called, but those are the remotes. Uh, I've got this guy, this guy, and this guy. I set up over here. Got my army. Down here. Then I have these two guys. What? Combat jump in? Yep, combat jump. Is that what he actually is? Is that the Yeah, that's a U1U1. One. One. And then the Macaulay? Yeah, Macaulay. and this is actually the uh, Battle Foam exclusive miniature. So yeah, when you order awesome. a infinity bag, you get this exclusive U1U1 guy. Okay. okay, first order of business. <laughs> I'm gonna need more of those, by the way. I want to pull find them. Do we have more? <clears throat> nah. Crap, okay, we'll just keep moving stuff forward then. Photocopy time. All of these little markers are downloadable from uh, Corvus Belli's Infinity of the Game website page. So you can so cool. go there, print them out on photo paper, Whoa. cut them out. Is that uh, guy, is that order sergeant a, an order sergeant or a nice Your sniper rifle, dude. That is a nice With? Sniper rifle. Dang it. Well, my strategy just changed. Six, 
six four is pretty good. Those little bots are speedy. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, these guys are four four. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna just reposition a little bit. Now that I know you got those crappy guys. This is going to be kind of tricky. Got three targets. That's my plan. So I kind of stumped Mike here with these um, combat jump guys. He's kind of deciding. Yeah, I totally wasn't thinking about it. Now I got to keep all of these guys together. I don't want to split them up. But, same time, Okay, that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Rob is thinking about what to do. All right. I'm trying to use psychological warfare to trick him into making mistakes. I'm eating lots of candy in front of him. You really are. I want some of those Smarties. Yeah, the Smarties are dang good. I love Smarties. The white Smarties are my very favorites. Is that why you save them? Yeah, that's why I saved them. I had like, whoa, that's really bright. I had one bag of these Smarties, one little package. It was like jackpot. I had seven of them in one thing. So that's why I save them. Plus, now that it's Halloween tomorrow, it's a good excuse for me to go to the store and buy like five bags of those Smarties. Because nobody comes to our house anymore. I don't know why. You guys live on a dark street. Yeah. Still, you'd think people would come. Oh, I totally just had, like if this was Star Wars, we'd be in one of those clone transport things that I never remember what they're <laughs> called, flying through here. I'm gonna go watch the Clone Wars tonight. The cartoon. I love the cartoon. Oops. Season two. Gotta be careful here. Those things are fast. I don't wanna get too ahead of Myself. Is that your awesome one? That's the Magister Knight. Yeah, I never <clears throat> remember what they're called. Yeah. All right, so I just ma ran the Magister Knight up over here. Try some kind of a flanking thing. Got my sniper here. I moved up the all guard. So I'm going to keep these guys in the back. Your two, uh, the, uh, the 80 combat jump guys. Combat jump's the best one. Yeah, uh, there's one better, I think. It's like X jump or something. Anyways, I'm going to keep those guys. Keep that uh, wild card in my pocket for a little bit longer. So, your turn. So this is Mike's first order. Moving that guy up into position. What's my line of sight here going to be? <laughs> you got kind of two things, the Aquila Guard and the Sniper. Yeah, I just barely can't see the Sniper though. There's too much stuff in the way. Like, yeah. And there's this thing. <laughs> Except your Sniper doesn't have, if I take another, what was that? That was my other move. I'd have to take a lot of stuff to try to shoot that guy, but I think I can hit the sniper from here if I move over and shoot at the sniper. Okay. I think. Yeah, right there. Okay, I'm gonna shoot back at you. Let's measure the range. All right, so he, this guy, an invincible? Yeah, the Shang-Gi invincible. Shang-Gi, yeah, he's shooting at my sniper. So he has a Split minus fire. three for range and another minus three because I have mimetism. And I have a minus three because if he's in cover, but a plus three for range. Yeah. 
So I'm hitting a normal ballistic skill, he's hitting a minus three. Minus six. Minus six. I need a seven. Critical. Oh, I got an 18. Whoops. Dang so it. two hits. One and a critical. critical. Yeah, that's well, awesome. Critical just kills him. That was bad for the first turn. I'll allow it. <laughs> I hate it when Sean says stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll allow it. I say that all the time now, though. Get stuck in my With head. Measuring device. Okay. That was pretty much awesome. I can handle that, though. That's okay. We're not out yet. We're only playing 200 points, so a pretty small game. So every loss kind of, you can feel it. I think I can. Yeah, I can see his sword and his cape flappy. I can't really see him. Yeah. I like I can't see it. I can see the top of his sword and stuff. But it's a little extreme. Yeah. Okay. This guy. Is there a ladder on the other side? There is a ladder on the other side. Man, you're making me waste all of my movement on this. Mm -hmm. It's those. It's me being scared of those dang guys. That's what's causing this whole thing. My orders, make sure that we're doing this right. And your bases kind of match up here. Yeah. Oh, well, he'll just take a second thing and move up there to the top. I love that model. Yeah, it's awesome. What are you running it as? Uh, it's a regular Invincible. Okay. That's the new Intel Spec Ops guy. Yeah. It's awesome. It's like your whole turn. Yeah, I know. But I gotta I gotta do something. Like I can't just let it go. So here's what went down for the rest of my orders. We've got those Whoa, out of focus. We got those guys that kind of took up position with the Demaro facing backwards uh, in case the combat jump comes back in that area. Uh, the hacker kind of repositioned himself up here and he's prone because I don't want him to get shot at behind the bunkers. And let's see, last guy with the Spitfire is over there. He's guarding, he, or he's suppressive firing that way. So, yep, that's what's going on. All right, I am uh, down in order with that sniper that I lost, and I'm kind of feeling it. It was holding the middle there. Okay, first though, I'm gonna do my combat jump. So these guys are going to combat jump, and they use their own orders to do that for the first one. So first I have to pass a physical roll for each guy, and they're going to do it right here. Physique roll? A physique, yeah. Uh, I knew it. Okay. So for the commando, as an eleven, I get a nine, so I pass that. The oh. Yuan Yuan, as a thirteen, I get a nine. I get 11. eleven, so they both pass. Blarg. Okay, so my two guys made it successfully. Combat jumped there. Then I move the Magister Knight up here, trying to get around his suppression fire. But he's going to take his Ardos for these guys up here. And I think, yeah, only these top two, the orange ones, can see him. Boom. So he has a minus six, uh, six with because the of the range. Rifle. Yeah. So he rolled a 10, which was a miss. I'm going to dodge. Well, the other Shang G is rolling too. Yeah. I get an 18. That's a miss, a 19 with a Spitfire. Dang, okay. What's his physique? Ah, now you got me saying physique. That's what it is. Yeah, I know, but it sounds funny. <laughs> what 
is it? Let's see. Please, Corvus Belly, when you translate 14 into English, change it from physique plus 18, to yeah. physical or something. Okay, so he failed his physique roll. I hate saying that. But <laughs> I gotta keep going. Here. Jump him over here. So he's jumping on the other side of that bush thing? Yeah. Not across your suppression line. No, no, you See no, I can't. There's yeah. too much stuff in the way. Then I'm gonna shoot with the Panzer Faust at you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna shoot back. Break your suppression. Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, ballistic skill? Twelve. Ballistic skill twelve, and your range? The range is eight. Eight. So I don't think I have any. Bonuses. Where is it? Yeah, no bonuses. I got a plus three. If it was a nine, I would. Get a two. That was a bad roll. Unless you totally go over. Oh, yes. 18. <laughs> Whew. Man. Made it there. Okay. Um, damage 14. AP plus explosive. Oh, plarg. Okay, here I gotta roll a whole bunch of dice then. Wait, what's the, that's the damage? Um, damage 14. Oh. Okay, I have armor zero, and I'm not behind anything, and I'm rolling three dice for this. Uh, yeah. Because of the explosive? Yep. Dang. Oh, man. Yeah, that was terrible. One five, you saved one of them. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> Okay. Well, that guy's destroyed. I like Infinity. It's really fast-paced. Your guys are dying right and left, but you're killing stuff right and left too. Yeah, it's pretty much awesome. Yeah, plus your guys can do cool stuff.